Okay, here we go. Another question to be answered on here. Yeah, I call this Simon Says again. It's just people like alliteration. It used to be Simon at seven. Now it's Simon Says. It's catchy. I couldn't think of anything better with a S. Um, shit, Simon Says. I could have done that, but then people probably would have been turned off. Right away. Anyway, so uh, this question today is, this was, yeah, this is a question. <laughs> I thought it was more of a comment that I should comment on, you could comment on a comment, but it's a question. Um, so this person says, what ways do you think people can build that self-love and self-belief in themselves, which would be the definition of self-love and self-belief, or do you believe some people are born with it? I, uh, I don't know if people are born with it. I, I think you could be born with it. I, I think what you have to do is if you're... I think you have to have a healthy dose of both. Sometimes people tell kids they can do anything. You can't do anything. <laughs> you can't do everything. You can't do anything everything. You are definitely going to be cut out better for certain things than others. I know when I was growing up, there were things I wanted to be good at, and I just was not. I wasn't. It took me years to figure out what I was good at. Um, and as, you know, that, you know, you don't want to, I think the thing is don't lie to yourself. That's what it is. And realize that most other people don't have the answers for you. So, like for me growing up, you know, people's whole ideal of someone with a disability is, you always need help, you always need to live with someone, you always need assistance, like, so, there was no, like, but I never believed that. I always thought that people were right to some extent, but they were also wrong to some extent. People think when they're being raised by someone that that person's always right, and they're not. So, and I think I learned to love myself um, sometimes twice a day. Um... Because, well, I don't even know if it's self-love. I'm pretty tough on myself. Um, I'm, I'm very self-disciplined at times. At times I have problems. It's, it's so funny because, you know, people have met me and seen me and, like, they're like, oh, you're so motivated and happy. It's like, you don't know all of me. Like, I definitely have a depressed side, like most creative people. And I have my side that's, like, doubtful about certain things. Just like anyone, like... But I think what you have to do is also say, you know, I don't know either. See, this is where we get heavy on here. Just like I said, if somebody else is telling you some shit about you and you, that's not true. Like, you, by the way, this this thing about, you know, when people say somebody insulted me or insulted me on the internet, it's like, you don't have to believe what they say. You know, I'm not a, I don't talk about bullying and all that shit, like, I was definitely called names and stuff when I was growing up. And, you know, it, it does it does affect you for sure. But also, the older you get, you go, I don't have to believe what they say. They just don't know me. And if they knew me, they'd be cool. And then I start being cool with it. So then that goes along with just like someone else saying something to you where you're like, you know what, you're not exactly right. By the way, you don't have to articulate that. You can just, if somebody tries to you know, knock your personality or your style or your art or your whatever it is, your job, you know, whatever it is, you know, you can look at that and, I mean, you might even try to understand where they're coming from. But then again, you say, well, you have to, you have to have the same filter on yourself. And you also have to be realistic. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, do I want to be a sculptor? Like, I could have grown up trying, I want to be a sculptor, I'd just not be good at it. You know, I want to be a painter and a drawer. A drawer? Is that a thing? And I tried and tried. And I could a little bit, but not like most people. And I had to be honest with myself. Being honest with yourself is saying, okay, you're not good at that. But also being realistic with yourself is saying, I'm not good at that, but there might be something I'm good at. And what is that? And find that. And then you find that. And you know what I mean? So, and like I said, it's being honest with yourself. So if something doesn't pan out, also don't knock yourself. I've seen so many people do that. I do it to myself, and I have to backtrack. So if something doesn't pan out, 
and people get super upset, like, you know, like, oh, I shouldn't have done, it's like, you didn't know, because you tried it, and it didn't work out, and you don't know that it won't work out next time, or whatever, like, it's just, don't know shit you don't know, bong, I need, like, a gong sound right there, that's what I'm talking about, that answered your question, I hope that answered the question, so self-belief and self-love, so, you know, and even, that's the other thing, you know, when I said people, or at least, you know, a lot of people around me when I was growing up, put these caps and limitations on what they saw, but I didn't see it that way. I just, I just never believed it. You don't have to believe it. That's the fucking thing. People do this all the time. People will say things like, oh, so-and-so, and this could be any kind of thing. If you're talking about ability or uh, race or religion, any of that, like, if people say, oh, well, I've, I've never seen a person like so-and-so do so, it's like, well, maybe it's about time that happened, maybe you're the one to do it, and that's how I have always been, it's like, well, I'll just do it, it's easy, I'll just do it, now I'm gonna go be depressed, I'm kidding, maybe, oh, that's the thing, artists, I like, artists, it's part of the gig, if you don't have emotions, you know, I'm not happy and jovial all the time, I'm not a little fucking garden gnome, or like a Keebler L, okay, I'm a grown man, who has grown man thoughts and feelings, and, why did some of my voice crack there, <laughs> I just did a whole other video where I was talking about how I've been running the AC really strong in my place, and it's like messing with my nose and my throat, like, uh, giving myself, uh, congestion. Alright, y'all want to know anything else? I'm kidding, okay. Uh, this is fun. Bye.